Very good evening, everyone. Jeremy here, quantstrategic.com.sg, 7th of March, Sunday. Hope you had a nice weekend. A weekly recap on the S&P 500. So we closed at 3842. It was a very nice bounce on Friday's close. Uh, and uh, on a long-term basis, you can see the S&P 500 still on a very, very bullish uptrend. Uh, touching a high of 3964 and whether we can hit 4000 re remains to be seen uh, and uh, looking at the weekly charts the weekly charts still very bullish uh, the long signal at uh, 3164 still valid on the 1st of June 2020 uh, very nice gains of almost 800 points and you can see the weekly chart has still not even violated the Tenkan line which is this yellow line on the Ichimoku cloud which is a fast moving average all right so the next support if the Tenkan line breaks at 3842 then it may test 3569 uh, on the uh, medium term maybe over the next couple of weeks or so but overall, the weekly charts are still very bullish. Looking at the shorter charts, the time frame of the dailies, which uh, most of you should be looking at, uh, you can see that uh, there was a short signal uh, that was issued on the 26th of February last month, targeting 3554. And uh, the price action is uh, pretty volatile. And... Uh, during the uh, trading week, the S&P 500 hit a intraday low of 3720 and bounced back on Friday to close at 3842. So once a short signal has been given, all right, as long as you do not bust this pivot at 4011, price action would tend to want to move towards and test the base of this cloud line which is the Ichimoku SSSB line. So as of now, even though there's a short signal that was issued, price action still is above the cloud. So there is not very much bullish momentum unless price action closes below this area. All right, and uh, we want to see a little bit more in detail. We can go to the four hourly charts. So looking at the four hourly charts, uh, you can see a little bit more detailed as to what's happening on the S&P 500. If you actually zoom back to the last couple of short signals that were issued and look carefully, uh, most of the time the, when the short signals were issued, immediately it broke out. All right, short signals issued here and then price action broke out again to the upside. Short signal issued here, price signal, price action broke up to the upside. Once again, this one here broke down, tested 3680 and boom, it went up and made an intraday high of uh, 3982. What is so special about the current break and the current weakness is that if you zoom in over the past couple of weeks, a couple of days, uh, you can see that this short signal is a little bit special because um, Short signal was issued here. Price retrace, not breaking this pivot line. All right. And then from here, made a lower low. All right. So 3720 was a lower low from the last low that was made at about 3790. So if this particular channel holds, then we might see price action weakening further. However, what you want to look out for is this particular pivot point here at 3871. So you can see on Friday's close, we close at 3842. And if next week price action is even able to break above this pivot at 3871, then the bullish momentum resumes to the upside and brings the dailies chart as well to test the 4000 level. All right, so this is one scenario that you may look out for next week. Another scenario is if price action is held by this pivot at 3871 and price action goes down and makes a lower low, then you will see prolonged weakness in the S&P 500 over the next couple of days.
all right so these levels will be uh, listed out in my blog constrictstrategic.com.sg so please have a look at this video will be attached together with a little uh, write-up and some levels to watch so to summarize what uh, happened last week in the start of trading week uh, trading month of March 2021 we got a uptrend on the uh, monthly chart we got an uptrend on the weekly charts on the medium term and on the short term we have some weakness with the daily chart testing the base of the SSS B line over here with a pivot resistance at 4011 and on more significantly this pivot at 3871 you want to watch closely uh, what the S&P 500 does next week whether it breaks above 3871 or continual weaknesses to the downside which is targeting this particular pivot right here on the weeklies at 3554 otherwise a break above the pivots at 3871 you will test 4011 pretty quickly all right, thanks for watching, guys, and remember to catch my blog on quantstrategic.com.sg and remember to click like if you find this video uh, useful for your investment decisions.